Sound of Radio. Joining me on my show now is the lovely Miss Erin Bogue. Hello. Hello. How are, we, how are you? I'm great. Thank you very much. Now, thank you so much for coming on the show again today. And obviously, we've got the semi-finals of Strictly Come Dancing coming up on Saturday. Are you excited for that? I'm, I'm very excited. It's always a, a good time of the year. Uh, every couple that's in it, so well, that's left in it, there's only five couples left, are absolutely brilliant. So it could be any four couples going through to the final. Now, of course, your professional partner, Anton Dubeck, is still in a competition and is loving it. Are you, are you enjoying seeing him on there? <laughs> I'm very excited. He's actually dancing in December. I don't think that's ever happened before. He made a semi-final once. That was series one. That was a long time ago with Leslie Garrett. But, of course, the show was only eight weeks long mm. uh, back then. So it's now 13 weeks long. I don't think he's danced in December, so I'm very excited for him. Um, I hope it goes well this weekend for him. I hope the public also get behind him, because that's, that's, I think, one of the biggest things this weekend. If you have a favourite couple, you have to vote. Even if they are at the top of the leaderboard, it's not guaranteed that they're not going to be in the dance-off. So you have to vote. I'll be voting. I mean, it was a shock when we found out that Helen and Aliash had gone there this week. I know, they were one of the best couples in it. But that's the nature of the beast that's the excitement of the show that's why anybody could go if you have a bad dance your time could be up now what do you think about uh, Jay and Aliona because Jay he's got that kind of charming side but almost shy side but his dancing is incredible he's, well Jay is an incredible dancer he's the only male celebrity left in mm. the show now that's a big advantage in itself because of course you've got all these female voters and of course he's good I don't think, really, since his quick step, and let's face it, it wasn't even really that bad. It's just that he messed up a bit. Every dance that he's done has been brilliant. Now, can he do it under pressure? I think he probably could. Are the public behind him? Probably. And he's got a big, big chance of making the final. He's just got to go out there and perform and do what he does best. Now, one of my favourite couples is Kelly and Kevin. I love how she played Nancy this week with Um Pa Pa. Do you think she has a good chance as well? Kelly's got a great chance of making the final. What she's got to do is get the public behind her. I know that she's had quite a few uh, moments where she's been in the bottom two, but mm. of course has been saved because she's quite a good dancer. She's been saved by the judges. Now, I don't think she's the strongest one in it, but... Um, she's got to keep herself out of that dance-off because she doesn't know who she's going to be in it with. So she's got to go out there and perform and really, I guess, pull at the heartstrings of, of, of the public to vote for her. And uh, next up we have Georgia and Giovanni as well. Now, I love these as a couple and how they work together. And she's, got, she's improved every single week, hasn't she? Georgia's probably the youngest uh, contestant in it. They're like... Uh, they're like a little bundle of energy, these two. They come out and they, they, they whack through every single number that they do. Uh, I don't think she's ever sort of gone wrong. Uh, she, she puts in a great performance. She's full of energy. Um, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what two dancers she's doing this week. They've got two dancers this week. Mm. Did you know that? They don't just go out there with one. The pressure's on, so they've got to do a ballroom dance and a Latin dance. Um, but I'm sure that she'll go out there with something special for everybody. And, of course, we've got Katie and Anton, and you must be right behind these two. <laughs> Yay, Katie and Anton. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course, they're my favourite couple. It would be wrong of me if I said that they weren't. Um, they're a very classy couple together. She's got these legs that go up to her shoulders, and they're so toned and, and brilliant. Um, they have. I do know that they've got the waltz and the Charleston. I'm sure, I know that she's better at the ballroom than she is at, at open hold dances like the Latin and Charleston and Salsa and stuff like that. Um, so really, I think that she, they've got to go out there and get the strongest possible mark that they can mm. in their waltz. They've got beautiful, beautiful music uh, this week. Um, so, and, I, and I'm hoping, of course, I, said, I know I've said this before, that the public get behind them because uh, they could be on rocky grounds um, but I know that they've got a certain support out there. So, um, they've, but they've got to go out there and do good dancing. And I'm sure that, I know they're working hard. Uh, Anton, he's barely home, um, and he, you know I've hardly seen him. I've started rehearsing for the tour. Anton's not there. That's <laughs>
And the Charleston is my favourite dance because it's so fun, it's so goofy, and I'd love to see Anton perform that because I think him and uh, Katie are going to do very well at that. Anton's great at the Charleston because of his quirky nature. Yeah. He's, got, he's got these great mannerisms and they come through in the Charleston. Uh, Katie's got to get all the swivel action right, which I think that she will, but of course her limbs are very, very long. Uh, and it's a quirky dance, so it would be quite interesting to see her act. And what do you think about An- Anita and Gleb? Do you think they've got a good chance as well? Because they seem to have a very good support behind them. Yeah, uh, Anita is, is one of these, these, these sort of girls that one moment she's dancing really great, and the next moment she's not. Now, I think it's, it's, it's the particular dance that she's doing. Uh, so she's had a couple of rocky moments. I know Gleb, and Gleb is going to come out and try and give her, you know, the best routine he can and give her the well factor, because she needs that. She cannot be in the dance-off this week. Now, I know in the dance-off, uh, if they run it like every other series that they've done, <clears throat> there'll be two couples in the dance-off, and they get to pick their best dance that they've done um, on that night. So... Um, it really depends on what she's doing this week uh, to, to whether she actually pulls it off or not. She did a great Paso Doble a couple of weeks ago. It was one of the best Paso Dobles I've ever seen on Strictly Come Dancing. It was a really good performance. So if she comes out and does another routine like that, she'll be in. And when are we going to finally see the 10 from Craig? <laughs> when are we going to see a 10 from Craig? Um, <laughs> to fly. Um, it would have to be something really, really special to get a 10 from Craig. But that's what I love about Craig. Craig doesn't just hand them out. And I do believe to get a 10, it has to be really super duper. Um, so maybe this week, maybe, or maybe in the final, or maybe never. We don't know, <laughs> Craig. Now, this must be a question you get asked all the time. But for me, and I'm not just saying this because you're on the show, but you, you have always been one of my favourite professional dancers. So could we ever see you return strictly as a professional? Do you know, that's really nice of you to say. <laughs> and I did 10 wonderful series of Strictly Come Dancing, some of the best years of my life and some really great partners that I've had. Whether they could dance or not, all 10 of my partners uh, are just really special to me. Um, will I go back? Unfortunately not. I won't go back as a professional dancer on the show. Um, I I mean, I've got a a small baby now, and I love every minute with him. Of course, I haven't retired from dance. I'm still on tour with Anton, and we'll be going out in January. Um, And we tour all over the country, so that's great. But Strictly Come Dancing is a really big commitment, seven days a week, for, for five months for the professionals. And that means that I'd never see my son. So I'm hoping that everybody understands that now, at this stage of my life, I would, I, I would really like to see him grow up, because he's only small once. Um, but I, of course, I will always be a part of that Strictly Come Dancing family and, and love every moment of it. And you said then that um, you and Anton are going to be on tour. Are you going to be anywhere in the southwest uh, at all? OK, hold on. Let me just think about that. Uh, where are you? Cornwall. So we're in Cornwall, so anywhere kind of Plymouth or anywhere like that? Listen, Anton and I are touring all over the country. If you'd like to see the dates that, you know, and where we are, please go onto our website, com. look under events, it will give the whole listing. We're up and down the country, all over the place, uh, January, February and March. So hopefully people out there will come along and, and watch us do what we do best. I've got it up here now. Uh, you're going to be in Bristol, so people in the southwest can travel to Bristol to see you and Anton perform. We're going to be in Bristol. You are on Sunday the 14th of February. There we go. Sunday. That's Valentine's Day. We are in Bristol on Valentine's Day. Come along, give a bit of love. Anton's full of love. I'm <laughs> he, just, uh, he, he just shows his a bit more all the time. <laughs> of course. Um, he's a proper charmer. So we'll be in Bristol at the Hippodrome. I just looked, you've got a lot and a lot of dates. I mean, does that get kind of physically strenuous at times? Because you're, you're going every single day to a different place. Oh, don't. I, the tour is, is very strenuous. Um, but it's so enjoyable uh, that you don't really notice the travelling from, from place to place. You only notice the different crowd each evening. Um, but it's always enjoyable. And, and what Anton and I, we feel so lucky that actually we do for a living what we love. And we yeah. go out there and perform and entertain. And that's never a chore to us. We absolutely love it. 
Aaron, honestly, it's been such a pleasure ha uh, pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for joining me. It's good to have you back on again, because like you said, I was 18 <laughs> when I last spoke to you. Well, it's very, very nice speaking to you again. Does that mean that we speak in another few years? <laughs> I would like to keep this a little bit more um, regular, because it's honestly, it's so nice talking to you, and I've wanted you uh, back on the show for a long time. It's only recently I found the number, and I was like, oh my God, I can get back in contact. Oh, well, bless <laughs> you. Thank you very much for having me on your show, and it's it's been wonderful. And please, people, watch Strictly this weekend and vote for your favourite couple which hopefully will be Anton and Katie <laughs> I'll definitely be voting for Anton and Katie I can't wait for the Charleston I can't wait for the Charleston either <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be great <laughs> thank you so much 